That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. And today's Daily Dose of Stupid. You may have already figured it out if you've been paying attention this entire show to what I'm wearing. Now, why you would be paying attention to what I'm wearing, I don't know, because I have a pretty good track record of not exactly being on the cutting edge of fashion. But this is a symbol that I was wearing before the movie star that we're about to talk about was. And yes, I am talking about Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, for the three people left in America that don't know who that is, he is the star of Guardians of the Galaxy. He was on Parks and Recreation, uh, probably next to Ron Swanson, my, my favorite uh, character. Nobody was going to beat Ron Swanson, but I mean, come on, Andy Dwyer is hysterical. Uh, but, you know, he's the star of Jurassic Park, one of the really big success stories. And if you know his personal story, it's absolutely phenomenal. This was a guy that was homeless, living on the beach, and smoking weed and found Christ and got his life together and is now one of the richest and most famous movie stars in Hollywood. I mean, he's not exactly Harrison Ford level, but let's be honest, he's not that far from it. And so Chris Pratt is a huge success story. Well, with success comes a certain level of ire from people who don't like you. And this is unfortunately a story of that. Now they're claiming that Chris Pratt is a white supremacist. And why are they claiming that he's a white supremacist? Because he wore the same symbol that I am wearing today. So in case you haven't seen it, this is the picture of Chris Pratt walking, uh, I believe that's with his wife. They, they did get married, didn't they? They got married recently, I think. But anyway, not really important to the story. So you'll notice that on his shirt there, he has an American flag and overlaid on the American flag, it has the Gadsden flag symbol with the snake that says, don't tread on me. So it's sort of a mesh of the modern American flag and the Gadsden flag, which was present in the American Revolution. You'll notice it's the same symbol that I'm wearing on my shirt. And I've worn this shirt, you know, probably a dozen times on this show. But what's important to note about this is that the Gadsden flag is a flag of the American Revolution which people now are saying is racist and a symbol of white supremacy. Now, I won't go over every talking point, but first of all, I would like to say I don't actually know of any white supremacists that use the Gadsden flag. I'm not saying there's none, saying I've never seen it. I've seen reenactors of Revolutionary War, you know, th those kind of the guys that reenact Revolutionary War battles, seen those guys use it. I've seen the Tea Party use it. I've been using it for a while now. And it's kind of a favorite symbol of military and gun enthusiasts. We use that one a lot. Never seen a white supremacist use it. Again, not saying that there's no example of it, just saying that I'm not aware of one. And so I much more associate that with the people that I was just talking about, more so than white supremacists. But if you want to know why they're getting their history wrong, because the assertion is, well, this is racist because the founders were racist and the revolution was rooted in slavery, and that's the reason that this flag is a, a symbol of white supremacy. Remember that we just had the Betsy Ross controversy with Colin, Ka uh, Colin Kaepernick, and I did a segment specifically talking about how they were completely wrong that they were getting their history wrong, that they, if they really believe that, they do not know their American history. And so, again, I hate to do this twice in one episode where I'm referencing another segment that I've already done, but I'm not going to rehash every point on that on the history. If you want to watch it, it's part of my 4th of July special. Go back on the YouTube channel and watch that. I think I have an individual video for it, but if not, just go back to episode 100 and check out that episode, and you can see my whole commentary on why the history is wrong. I go through the, the original documents and some of the beliefs of our founders and explain why they're completely incorrect on their assertion that the revolution had anything to do with slavery. If anything, it was incredibly anti-slavery and the most anti-slavery movement in the world at that time. But nonetheless, just be aware of that. If, if you do want to get a, a full history, because every, every argument that I applied to the Betsy Ross flag could also apply to the Gadsden flag. So I'm not going to just give you basically a, a parroting every single talking point I've already done. 
But here's the second part of this that I find incredibly amusing. This backfired. It backfired big time. Because, yes, Chris Pratt is a trendsetter. Yes, Chris Pratt is a celebrity. And so wearing a flag, uh, wearing a shirt with a Gadsden flag on it, maybe some people that follow him really closely would have seen this picture and been like, hey, that's, that's kind of cool. I, I might want a shirt kind of similar to that. But bringing it this level of notoriety and attention has had the exact opposite effect. Uh, effect. In fact, you don't even have to be looking to buy one of these shirts. Right now, if you type in the words Chris Pratt flag shirt, and this is a screen grab from like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes from when I went on air. I did this at the last second. All you have to type in is Chris Pratt flag shirt, and there are several companies. You can't even see all of them on this one page. There are several companies now advertising specifically the Chris Pratt flag shirt as something that you can purchase at their store. And I think that that tells you a couple of things. First of all, most people don't think of it that way. Most people do not think of the Gadsden flag as a symbol of white supremacy. I would, I feel very secure not knowing Chris Pratt, having never met him, just watching him from afar. And I know that sometimes that's not always the best observation point. But just based on what I've heard, I have no reason to believe that the guy's a white supremacist. None whatsoever. In fact, I've seen some of the actors and actresses that he's worked with and some of the ones that he's worked closely with and is still friends with are minority people. This is a guy that in his last role in Guardians of the Galaxy, which by the way, I don't feel sorry for him in this at all, was making out with a black actress. Now, you may not have known she was black because she's green in the movies. I'm talking, of course, about Gamora. But the actress that plays Gamora is a black woman. Do you really think that if Chris Pratt were a white supremacist, that he would agree to kiss a black woman on screen for everybody to see. I don't remember Richard Spencer or any of the neo-Nazis or David Duke being like, sure, I'll make out with a black woman on camera for the entire world to see. Don't mind doing that at all. Nah, can't see them doing that. And yet somehow they're asserting that Chris Pratt is a white supremacist. Really? That's your play? That's what you're trying to convince us? But the fact that the shirt is now trending and selling and people want to buy it, partly probably to tick off and, and own the libs, but also partly because, you know, it's pretty cool to own a shirt like Chris Pratt. Although in this case, I was wearing the Gaston flag shirt before Chris Pratt was. So I'm pretty sure Chris Pratt, I'm sure he watches the show. And so he's probably watching, he was watching tactics and he's like, man, that Gadsden flag shirt is awesome. I need to get one with the, with the don't tread on me on that. That That's cool. So uh, you're welcome, Chris Pratt. If you ever need more fashion tips, call me. <laughs> um, no, Chris Pratt, that being a big deal and, and being a big marketing ploy and people buying the shirt. All that goes to show is that most people, maybe they're even a little bit left. Maybe they're even not, not really a conservative. It doesn't matter. The vast majority of people, right and left, don't see the Gadsden flag as a symbol of suppression or white supremacy. They just don't. They see it, most of them, for exactly what it's supposed to be, which is a symbol of the revolution. And that is something to be honored. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, yes, I am a straight white Christian male and a small government constitutionalist, which means I have no chance of getting any help from the government and wouldn't accept their help even if they offered. Which means I'm going to need you to like and subscribe because my gun collection is not going to pay for itself.